There can be only one. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. All out of bubblegum. Go ahead. Make my day. Cinema Royale. I'm too old for this shit. I can't believe that just fucking happened. Groovy. Hello, welcome to Cinema Royale, where we talk about movies, films, and the cinema in general in the Ring of Royale at the Roundtable Discussion. I'm your host, Mike, and along with me are my excellent film aficionados. First up is James Sullivan, old cinema's Hi, me too. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Boric Acid and talcum powder the safest and most hygienic way to keep ants out of your baby's pants shoot the talcum to me malcolm <laughs> oh, what <laughs> ants are the what <laughs> oh, oh. and before i crack up and pass out uh matt Brunet, also known as anna matt Hey guys, I'm right here. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, honestly. Hello, right here. <laughs> and today's my, episode... my mind is not the freshest, so like. Oh, we'll refresh it for you. <laughs> today's episode is all about disaster films. Whether it's natural disasters, uh, it's science fiction, like, uh, disasters, whether it's aliens, monsters, or dinosaurs, maybe post-apocalyptic, uh, man-made, whether it's a hazardous materials, transportation, or just animals and plants for some odd reason, which we'll get into that. So, I would like to, who would like to start? Popcorn. Category, please. Category. Uh, you know, let's search from our way. There isn't a lot here, actually, so natural disasters is probably the obvious one. Hollywood thinks, you know, hmm, there's natural disasters coming around in the, by the world. Let's make a movie about them and uh, make it thrilling. So... Obviously, there's avalanches. <laughs> like, really? I don't even know. Avalanche, Avalanche Alley, Avalanche Express. What the fuck? Like, does that need to be... Okay, I... <laughs> huh? I'm just sorry. It's just... This is a... the weirdest subgenre of films, and it's like, I don't get it. I mean, I don't see the thrill of it. It's just... So what? It's a natural disaster. It moves on. Of, av of avalanche disaster? <laughs> yeah, av avalanches. It's like, sure, okay, avalanches happen. So what? Nature unleashed. Well, let's see. I'm seeing the vertical limit here. Um, you know, with all the... I gotta, I gotta say, for that, for that particular film, I did kind of enjoy it. Uh, simply because, not because I found it huge and, and thrilling, that was only part of it. Uh, the uh, the enjoyable thing I thought about it was, I, you know, you see these, these guys not just hiking, but they're and hiking around snow areas, but they're they're scaling. They are, you know, some of them are like uh, supermen basically. They're they're scaling uh, the side of an ice rock. You know, using two picks and just whacking their hands into the into the side of the the cliff and pulling themselves up, and I always thought that actually looks like fun. <laughs> it it kind of does. I mean, wouldn't you want to scale the side of a building like that or something? Just just be able to have hooks for hands and crack, 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 crack. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun, but like knowing the dangers of it, it's best to stick with Assassin's Creed. 
Oh, man. The other titles in here are unbelievably generic and cheesy. Avalanche, Nature Unleashed, Avalanche, Avalanche Alley, Avalanche Express. It sounds like, uh, it sounds like it's a, it's a slasher film, you know? It's like the Avalanche franchise where the Avalanche is the killer. <laughs> it's an avalanche <laughs> It's like you see the it's like you see like the post credits. You see like a giant pile of snow. It's, a, it's like looking at the survivors, and it'll be like, "I'll be back." <laughs> and you you see a hand. You see a snow, a uh, frosty the snowman hand, reaching out and grabbing an ice pick or something. <laughs> yes. And, um, <laughs> It He's just comes Jack out with his hand. And it's like, da, da, da. Well, let me uh, go to another, another subcategory, which is um, within natural disasters, volcanoes. There's a lot of volcano uh, films. And uh, the ones that came out the same year, in 1997, was Volcano and Dante's Peak. And they are often called uh, copycat Ooh. films, where they're like the same film as what i've heard you got volcano which mm-hmm. stars uh tommy lee jones uh, yeah it's very common in animation actually and then you got dante's peak featuring uh pierce Brodson and linda hamilton which you might know her from the terminator as sarah connor i mean oh. they're both volcano movies what do we do where the volcano happens? Yeah. Well, one, uh, well, one of them well, actually Well, now you got had... two ideas of what to do. <laughs> well, one of them actually had, uh, had more of what, uh, what I would prefer to see when I see a volcano erupting. That's the lava. Um, I, if I remember recall correctly, it seemed like Volcano had a lot more of the lava going for it. Dante's Peak had some lava, but uh, but dealt, but the uh, the disaster brought on by the volcanic eruption, most of the injuries inflicted and or disasters were secondary as a, as a result of the volcano. Uh, for example, the um, uh, the couple that decides to uh, go into the hot spring. And if, uh, for those of you guys who've actually seen the film, uh, I watched it. In, I watched that movie in science class. They showed that. I was like, yes. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well. Uh, nudity leading to death. <laughs> A volcano. Um, I'm just kind of reading the the critiques of. Don't you know anything about science? <laughs> <laughs> don't, you know, don't you know anything about science? Oh man, um, I'm just reading the critiques of both Volcano and Dante's Peak, and I mean Dante's Peak premiered at number two at the box office behind the the special edition re-release of Star Wars. Um, oh. Despite having a wider financial success and being slightly more scientifically accurate than Volcano, Dante's peak open to a movie unfavorable reviews than its rival and holds a 27% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Hmm. Wow, that's really... Ouch. Oh, but the lava, see, that's where they... I guess we've learned a lesson here. People don't want scientific accuracy. They just want the pretty lava. Yes, uh, Roger Ebert. Uh, Roger they, just want, they just want a mountain that goes boom and it rushes out lava. I guess, I guess they yeah, want... Yeah, we're kind of... Yeah, we're kind of we're cheesy kind of with that. that way. <laughs> yeah, next one we'll probably but, get a uh, Pompeii movie. <laughs> Volcano eruption! Um... Roger but here's Ebert. something fun about Dante's Peak. Oh, God, Peak. if Michael Bay touches volcanoes. 
<laughs> oh yeah, kaboom! Big exploding volcanoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. The entire volcano is gonna blow up, and like, like just lava will fly everywhere. Every every, every volcano all over the world. The, <laughs> oh wow! The the. The surface of the earth will be covered with liquid magma. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing we're going to see is just Megan Fox with her jumping boobs running away. Boinky, 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 boinky. As you were saying, James... Oh no! <laughs> yes, it, that was very much the same. <laughs> okay, what was I going to say? Dante's Peak. Uh, did you know that? They, you'll never guess what they use uh, as uh, part of the volcanic volcanic ash props every time they had demolition. Every uh, during certain times where uh, you know ceilings had the had to break in, had to break down, and, you know, dirt and shit was flying through the ceiling. You know what they used? Shred newspaper. I just read it on Wikipedia. You're never going to mm-hmm. guess. Huh? Shred, shred a newspaper. I got Cocoa Puffs. I got shredded. I got, uh, shredded. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs? What the? It says here on Wikipedia. And you can love Luther too. <laughs> Despite the heavy use of CJ, the volcanic ash in the film was actually really finely shredded newspapers. I believe I believe it was some of that as well, but I'm talking about like dirt. Uh, vol- yeah, dirt. Volcanic yeah, ash is uh, something else. Cocoa for Cocoa Puffs. Okay, I kind of threw myself off because I thought I heard ash, but you said dirt, so all right. Coco Puffs. No, that's that's just that wow. I just blew my mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. What filmmakers willing to use? Why for not Switch? be Coco Puffs? You know. Um. Wow. Yeah. Volcanoes. Volcanoes just don't. Coco Puffs. <laughs> Coco Puffs. Now I've, I've changed the fabric of this conversation. <laughs> you will not rise above Cocoa Puffs. What could be better, more, more better than uh, Michael Bay's exploding volcanoes and Megan Fox jumping <laughs> boobs than with Coke Volcano that makes Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> God. Oh my god, it's madness. Um, Didn't they do that in one of their advertisements? <laughs> I don't know. We can make one now. <laughs> uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> um, surprisingly, there ain't a lot of... We have here? There's, there's not a lot... Are there any volcanoes? <laughs> There's not a lot of tornado films. There's only like three listed here, but the most popular tornado film is Twister. Which is which is cheesy and has a lot of problems with it, maybe, but I still enjoy it. Yes, I enjoy it too. I used to watch it. No, I don't all care. Yeah. All the time. It was. Uh... I don't know. I love... I don't really care much about that movie. Like the only thing I remember is that there's a giant tornado coming in, people running to see it for some reason, and cow. Yep. Cow. Yeah. This is uh, this is an awful lot of effort to go through just to monitor uh, the insides of our of a tor- of a twister. Do you think? Yeah. I mean the the whole the whole mm-hmm. point of what they were doing was to to get some sort of verifiable computer simulation of a twister and it costs them lives to do it. Yeah. Storm chasers. 
dangerous storm chasing. Mm-hmm. And what are they going to do with that yeah. information after they get it? No. They probably use it for something. Something like that. They run. So they're like, all right, we got our tornado. Now what? Run! Oh, we'll, we'll get to be able to see what the uh, the inside of a tornado might look like if we put it in the like, computer simulation. Let's let's not know what the inside of a tornado looks like, okay? Yeah. I'm just fine. I'm just fine with that. Yeah. Um. Just something to know. Most of these disaster films are, you know, they're high budgeted Hollywood films, and some of them are just TV movies in general. TV shows. Oh, please do tell. <clears throat> um, you know, sci-fi is usually known for their uh, disaster films. I've seen, I mean, I have not actually seen any, but I noticed that quite a few. Like, um, you know, when it comes to climate, you know, there's a lot of c- climate-related... Sharknado. Um, Sharknado. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah. Oh, my God. I just never thought about that until now. Sharknado, yeah, that's a disaster film. Come on, it's a tornado with sharks in it. And actually, I, I think it's about time I talk about it because I think we, uh, I mentioned it. Yeah, that's definitely one. Yeah, that's definitely one. I mean, it's a freaking tornado picks up a shark and they just plop them into California, <laughs> and hilarity ensues. It's actually one of the. I don't know. For me, it's like a very no, they just directly on a person. Like... Oh yeah, they just they just start flying. It's it's like they're in the air. They're all swirling around the tornado, and they start flying on the people. They eat people's arms off. They land on, you know, on. <laughs> it was just so. Oh man, that movie. I have I actually bought it on DVD, and it is like one of the best shark films I've ever seen. Why would you buy it? For the commentary. (laughs) And the special features. But I like to watch it over and over too. So shoot me. I like so so bad it's so good films. Um I was I was saying, um sci fi has usually a lot a lot of other uh T V related uh um, sci fi films. I uh I might I'm rambling. I don't even know what I'm saying. I mean, disaster films. They're TV related. Uh, they're TV related uh, sci-fi films for television. Yes. Yes, yeah, for television. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm just to make sure you guys got it clear, and everybody out there listening, because I'm just mumbling. Billy, 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 Billy. Um. One of them I noticed is called Ice Twisters. Motherfucking ice twisters! What the he- ice twisters? Ice Is it twist- a spinoff? Uh, no, it's a Canadian ma- American made for TV film. Oh, right, get a little, get involved with in Canadians, but apparently either a storm develops and um, I'm, I'm trying to read, read the plot because I never seen the movie. How horrible am I? But I'm not. I guess it gets really freaking cold and it turns into an ice. What? The... I'm really confused. Like, how the fuck does it turn a, tra- a twister into <laughs> ice? I don't know. Why are you coming up with these stupid movies, sci-fi? Why? I think the same reason why, like, how a tornado can pick up a shark. Exactly. It's, the, I... it's like it's made to be stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> So, uh, may I jump into the bandwagon on one yes. that I want to talk about? Or... Yes. yes, yes, you can. I'm done. Yeah, okay. I was checking on, anyways, I was checking, like, the list, and I noticed that one of them that they, they mentioned, like, as a natural disaster, like, as one of the natural disasters is space. Now, of course, like, when you think of, like, a, like, that would be easily categorized as, like, some kind of meteor that would come down, like, um, like uh, 1997's Asteroid or, or Armageddon or stuff like stuff like that. But recently I saw a movie that was an amazing film that um, 
that pretty much the disaster is just space itself. Gravity. Any of you guys seen it? I've heard plenty about it. I've heard plenty about it, too. I heard it was fantastic, but I have not seen it. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, it really is. It really is. The thing about, um, like, initially, it, the best way I can do, I always, I always say it to my family and friends, the best way to describe gravity is, is essentially Sandra Bullock's day ever in space. Because literally, um, the plot is that, like, they were working on something in space, and, and, like, Sandra Bullock and George Clooney are up there, like, trying to fix a spaceship or, or a satellite or something. And then there's space debris that came along. And, like, like space debris in space, like, it can get very dangerous. They go as fast as bullets. So initially, it broke their entire spaceship, and now they've got to find a way to get back down to Earth. And, like, there's a lot of things that, that always go wrong, like... Uh, um, like they would go like they would hop from spaceship to spaceship like different spaceship from russian to chinese spaceships and often like they can either they either catch on fire or like uh sandra bullock's running out of air quick you know like it, it gets really it, it it can get really intense like without going in a really fast pace mm. ah. So what's uh, uh what I'm sorry what's yeah, like kind of hopping from space station to space station? Sorry for Well, asking. not space question. station, but I mean like satellites. Mm. Right. I, I don't mean space station because th those things are on Earth and like they're up in space, so they got to find a way to travel. But it is a very dizzying move movie, I will say. Because often you see in the perspective of Sandra Bullock and she would spin a lot. And trust me, seeing that Earth go up and up and up all the time, it gets dizzying at some point. I would assume so. Oh, uh, definitely. Yeah, I'll, I've been I've been hearing a lot of people say, you know, you got to see that in the theater. It just it just looks like something I'm gonna. Um, wait till it comes on video for. Um, yeah, actually, it truly really is something that, like, to get the full experience, you have to see it in theaters. <laughs> what you gotta see it in theater? You have to. You have to. <laughs> gotta see the full effect in the there. theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't wait. Wait for. You can't wait till it comes on a DVD. You, 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 you gotta see it in theaters. Yeah, every time every time somebody tells me you gotta see it in theaters, I go and it's a waste of freaking time. But that's <laughs> just my luck. Um, I guess we're actually we're just kind of going along here with um. There's nothing with space, but some some they've included a lot of you know some fictional disasters like you know, you know the, the zombie apocalypse, you know, and um. Stuff that includes aliens, monsters, and oh, dinosaurs. Yeah. So, there's, yeah. um, you know, like, for example, we have, um, what do I want to say? I guess I could say, uh, for aliens, monsters, and dinosaurs, which I think it's weird. I mean, I don't know even how to, just, I mean, of course, monster attacks, you know, like freaking uh, Godzilla, for example. That's a disaster film. Mm -hmm. You see Godzilla, ah, ah, just attacking the city, and he try to stop him and stuff, and and then because they're the battling pe creatures, you know these monsters, and and I, I always think of um, Sims. Mm -hmm. I, I always think of Sim City when it thinks of like monster related stuff because I imagine I might run my city, and all of this monster comes and don't don't don't. Oh my God, people of. Mikeville, you gotta run, run, get out of here! There's a monster on the loose. <laughs> I don't uh, know. I just the people of Mikeville. 
Shout out as my. Uh, Wait, is it, is it, oh, that was my Sim City. Oh, City. Oh, yeah, maybe pretty much. Just like to talk about Sim City sometime. Gotta love Sim City. <laughs> um, Killer Mountain. Fuck Killer Mountain. One of the motherfucking does killer. The, does the mountain actually kill? <laughs> Sci-fi original movie, of course. Um, the story of a mountain climber sent to rescue a missing person from a forbidden mountain only discovered that the legendary Shangri-La and the hungry creature are protecting it. What the f- <laughs> what the f- okay, so like- that's not a, a killer mountain. No, it's, that, it's, uh, a, it's a... Uh, a killer on a mountain. Yeah. One that pops See, up. See, if the mountain was the killer, it would be what you'd have the mountain wandering through the woods with a machete or something like that. <laughs> um, I'm just looking through the aliens. It turns into, into like, it's like Slender Man, but like when you walk up, you know you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't The tagline get... is, try to move this mountain. <laughs> I'm trying to move this out. <laughs> um, I'm just not sure about this aliens, monsters, and dinosaurs like cat subcategory because these titles I'm looking at, like um, for example, <clears throat> Suburban Commando is in the list. Oh, jeez, this yeah, this list is is very confused. And when I think. When I think disasters, I certainly don't think, I certainly don't think explorers. Yeah, so I don't know when how... I think disasters, yeah. yeah, don't trust me. I mean, what, uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, so they're, I don't know what, what they're clarifying. I don't know what... Who... Oh, you think? Yeah, usually with disaster movies, it... Yeah, what the or the faculty? What about what about that? What, what happened in the faculty may be considered disastrous because you know it's a uh, it's, I it's guess, a horror film, but that's like calling Scream a horror a uh, disaster movie. There, this, see, with this subcategory of aliens, monsters, and dinosaurs, are kind yeah, of a point. they're kind of implying that the alien invasion sort of there was an alien involved in the movie. Me and but oh my god, Earth's gonna end with the aliens. But some of these titles are just like, really? Then nothing happens. Like the alien does. There's no uh, alien evasion per se. Mm-hmm. What about the last Starfighter, which is actually a, which is actually a pretty good film uh, for a Star Wars knockoff. But uh, if you again, um, just because it has has aliens in it does not make it a disaster movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. um I don't know I I don't know if you guys already talked about it, but why is aliens in the attic in the list? Because the film itself is a disaster <laughs> Because aliens came down to Earth and it's gonna invade. Oh okay. Oh so, oh I thought we were okay. Oh are those disaster movies? Why don't we talk about disaster movie? Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't even if mention. They that. live. <laughs> don't even want to talk okay. about it. Okay, and I. Okay, and here's another one that, that I don't know. Okay, here's another one that shouldn't even be on the list. I don't know why it's on the list. Freaking Mega Mind. You you guys found it? Yeah. Yeah, Mega Mind. Yeah, it's in this. Yeah, DreamWorks it's, Mega Mind. It's just they think of aliens. You know, that's unnatural for them to be on planet Earth, and they think it's gonna be involving with a fucking invasion. And then Mega Mind is nothing to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. Whoever wrote this list. There's not even aliens in the movie. It's just like he uh, just like. Yes, there are aliens in the movie. They're the two main. Okay, characters. okay, we got like the two spent like the the, the the parodies of Superman. You know, we got Megamind and uh, 
uh, perfect. Uh, who, who did Brad Pitt play? Perfect Captain Man Perfect or, or something. Wonder Guy? Some, some, yeah, something like that. Captain Cheese Smile. <laughs> yeah, this, that I don't get. That I don't. Yeah, this sub subcategory is like really they, fucking. They confusing. are aliens, but that's like. Yeah, like you might as well put in freaking Superman on the list. Or, oh, oh, great! I just found. Okay, I found another one. I found another stupid one. Hmm. Hey guys, would you consider Underdog a disaster movie? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll give you. Two, <laughs> I'll give you three guesses as to what my most obvious answer is. First two don't count. <laughs> um, hundred <laughs> dog. <laughs> don't get it. I just don't get how it. How did how did dog get in that list? Seriously, it's like the there's no. I thought I thought like. There's no aliens or monsters or there's Mega no Megamind was pushing it, but freaking underdog. There's no aliens or monsters or dinosaurs involved in that film. <laughs> there's a talk. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. So speaking of, so in that case, let's talk about cats versus dogs then. Uh, cats, cats and dogs. Yes. <laughs> the, the the true disaster film. Well, uh, cats taking over the world. Yes. I yes. Like. I want you to stay here. Why? Because I hate you. <laughs> this. All right. I'm. I don't get this fucking category. Just it's weird. Like. All right. I shouldn't even mention this, but it's Battleship. Okay. Uh, oh, great. Yeah. You some that's point Battleship. The alien invasion category in, in the Air Force. Yeah. It's it's a disaster film, but uh, if you've got more to say on it, I mean, all right. So yeah, technically that, it counts. But it not. it counts, but I'm I'm trying to pick through and find which one that actually belongs in this category. But Battleship is like you know it's based on the board game, obviously, and you know and the interesting thing about Battleship it's about you know these. Um, Two uh, commanding officers fighting the sea battle, and you know it's like, oh, you saved my battleship. Uh, well, obviously in the movie it took a different turn and made it into an alien invasion kind of disaster film where aliens come in and they have to attack the aliens, and there's no aliens involved in the board game whatsoever. So they're kind of misinterpreting the game. A battleship, in a way. But yes, it is a disaster mm. film where the aliens go. Yeah, I... yeah. Yeah, honestly, Battleship is just a perfect example of Hollywood taking whatever they want and turning it into a big action film with no thought on it. Just like make large, just large special effects and really no thoughts on it. And like just add in a random like random batch of celebrities just let them do their work whether they're good or not i think like there's a singer like rihanna or someone yep, like that who was in the movie it. yeah she's in it i saw it like literally it's a bad it's a terrible like it's just the perfect example of how hollywood is running out of ideas essentially essentially mm. but but the only reference that battleship kind of made to the game was when the aliens attack it and they do this kind of like the yellow peg on the on the ship. That's the only <laughs> fucking <laughs> really? Yes. Yes, so when the aliens attack they shoot this like missile or something and it's like this yellow peg and it goes right into the ship. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> reference oh, wow. they make. That's the only reference they make to the game. Really? That's and, sad. I don't think they even say you're like my battleship at one that's point. Freaking sad. But yeah, that's the only reference they make. Um, Honestly, like, I would have wanted to. I would have wanted to watch that movie if they ever said you sunk my battleship. Like we just see Leslie Nielsen. He he'll take off his sunglasses and he's just there. You sunk my battleship. I think you mean Liam Neeson. What did I say? You said Leslie Nielsen. 
whoops, wrong person. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. Yes, yeah, so it turns yeah, into... Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> It's no, turned no, no, into no, another no, disaster no. movie. No, yes. no, no, no. I, I can imagine they're both, like, the, the Navy is fighting against the aliens. Leslie Nielsen just comes in. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I think, and that kind of segues into the next, um, subcategory which it comes to transportation disasters like you know airplane for example um, not yet wait uh that would be man-made disasters wouldn't it yes, yes there it we go be. i found it yep man-made disasters so man made the disaster so when it comes to transportation you know with air, the airplanes it's, it's like something happened to the air it's like what the fuck we gotta fix it, or we're gonna crash! Uh, can I say something uh, before we move on? Sure. I just because I just noticed one more, one more alien film in here. Planet Fifty One. Wait, is <laughs> what? Planet Fifty One. Wait, it's on the list. What? <laughs> Planet Fifty One. Wait, hold on a sec. It's on the list. Look at her pee. What? Yes, the animated movie with Dwayne Johnson playing an astronaut who lands oh, on a God. planet that that uh, that thinks it's 1951 <laughs> is considered a disaster movie. Okay, I just checked, and thank freaking God, like they didn't add. Like I thought this uh, this list would actually be dumb enough. Like if they kept on going, I wonder. It's like did they add in freaking Escape from Planet Earth on this thing. No. Oh no! Did they? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Thank oh, God they did. Oh my God! I just checked. I like. I actually went up and it's like. It's like. Did they actually do that? It's like. Oh jeez. Oh my <laughs> God! They. Why did they list this one? There's a movie I've seen in the past, and I don't know why this is a disaster film, but it involves aliens. But they're alien dogs, in the movie called Good Boy. I see James has the laughter that says kill me. Yeah, James has some affiliation with that movie somehow. (laughs) Like he's seen it and he hates it so bad he wants to kill it. Alright, so yeah. James, you saw the movie? It had to be with that laugh. (laughs) It had to be. Was it good? It's the poor, it's the poor man's cats and dogs. And no, I didn't see the movie. But I don't. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. I'm cause yeah. sadly, sadly, I did. I thought the sequel was a poor man's cats and dogs. I thought uh, I thought it was a pretty okay sequel. But Good Boy has talking alien. Dog, and apparently it's a disaster under the aliens and monsters and dinosaurs. And it's like, really? The dog sh- came from Earth and it's fucking talking dogs. You know, uh, freaking Matthew Broderick voices the main dog named Hubble. You know, he's a. he's, And then all of a sudden these other dogs come in. You know, you got a boxer named Wilson who's. Um, uh, and then he's like crazy. You know, he's talking about this and that. Um. That's hard to describe. It's just a, it's it was produced by Jim Henson Pictures too. Oh, good God! Jim Henson. No. I love Boy. that cup. Why? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that's a disaster film. I don't know why. <laughs> What's your, wait, I'm gonna and the same reason why to recover that with. <laughs> Mind a freaking underdog is a freaking alien movie. Then they decided to follow that up with uh, uh, with uh, Sid the Science Kid. So whatever. Oh um, yeah, Jim Henson. Um, man-made disasters. <clears throat> let's get off that. Let's get on the man-made disasters. <clears throat> okay. Um. Um. If I may uh, suggest one. Go ahead. Okay. 
I think uh, we all remember the cla- there's one classic film that we know. Ah, oh, crap! What was it? I don't remember. It's the one on the bus. You mean Speed? You know the, 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 the man-made disaster movie that's on the bus? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Speed, yes. Speed. Would that be considered one? Yes. Oh, crap. It's, they it's, don't a, have it's, it. it's on the list it, because under, no, it's under it. cars, trucks, and buses. Oh, there we go. Yes, Speed. There we go. <laughs> Although Speed, like Speed, I, I was thinking maybe that would be one. It's on the Considering list. that even though, yes, technically it would be like some kind of hijacking movie because like they got to go into a certain speed into a certain speed or else like if they go slower, they're going to blow, blow up the bus, essentially. Yeah, well, I think any kind of thriller mm-hmm. involving, you so know. So that, that seems like something that. Yeah, yeah I think. That, uh, I think that a, a rule that, that should be set here is that disaster movies should describe uh, a large amount of people uh, facing an actual actual threat, like in Speed, in which you have the, the population of a bus uh, trying to uh, uh, in peril because they, they might crash or blow up or something like that, as opposed to, alien, as opposed to Planet 51, which which is only a presumed threat on a population. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's only a presumed Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. What else uh, What else is here that qualifies as a, as a disaster film? We've got uh, man-made disasters. Oh, here's a man-made disaster. <laughs> Once upon a forest. <laughs> what? No, they they did not. They did. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where 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 did you find this? Under chemicals. Oh yeah, yep. Chemicals. Ke- yep, chemicals. Yep, right on. Yes. <laughs> it's an environment. Environmental disaster brought on by uh, brought on by chemicals, <laughs> and oh, it God. is a population, and it deals with a population that is uh, uh, that is in danger. So yeah, I, I guess you could, you know, with those themes combined, you could consider it a dis- disaster film, no matter well, no matter how uh, uh, non preachy and or uh, or how water down yeah is. like it, it I guess it's like it's a disaster film disguised as an obnoxious environmental film you Speak. know like like they always got to go out saying save the forest oh we got to do this for our friend oh look what they did to our land that's not right you know I, I didn't <laughs> I didn't feel like Once Upon a Forest was nearly as preachy as some other. Did they actually preach? I know they had a scene with a preacher, but that was. Uh... The yeah. <laughs> well, okay, a literal sense. Well, that, that well, okay, not the preacher like we're all like, not not the preacher in the environmental side. Like a li- that's a literal preacher, but outside of that, like, even though they didn't say it, it's like you know it's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It wasn't like uh, it wasn't like shoving it down your throat, and that for that I was thankful. Yeah, it's not the worst. Uh, I'll admit that. Okay. So, so uh, speaking of your turn, Mike. Speaking of uh, films that involve chemicals, disasters, and or plants. <clears throat> Let's talk about the happening. <clears throat> is Little Shop oh, of Horrors kind of, a, kind of a disaster film? <laughs> Not based upon this list. Technically, that would be in, that would be in in um, uh, Aliens, I think. But it's not even on the list. I don't think. <laughs> but if they kept in the original. <laughs> Ending, it would be considered a disaster film. No. Probably. Yes, it would be. Yes, with the original yeah. ending. Good note of that. Yes, but the happening. The happening. 
fucking M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> and Mulk Warburg <laughs> follows a man What? A, no! Follows a man, his wife, his best friend, and his friend's daughter today trying to escape an inedible natural disaster. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. What? No! What are you talking about? I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, it's just a fucking goddamn movie. I mean, it's so bad. I just want to. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. That's what that's what M Night Shyamalan does nowadays. Talking to plants. Talking to plants. Let's just talk to plants. <clears throat> Freak out by plants, why don't you? <laughs> if we could talk to the urbanals. God. <laughs> if we can talk to the herbals, smoke all the herbals, I would <laughs> be happy as can be. I'm just making up. <laughs> I know you I'm are. just making it up as I go along. Yeah, I just, I just want to. I uh, fail. I just need to just wanted to uh, mention uh, the happening because it's just it's cla it is classified as a disaster, but it's just a bad one. <clears throat> Matt, your turn. Yeah. Just because it's a disaster movie doesn't make it good. <laughs> it's just the bad interpretation of a a, a disaster film. It's just <laughs> bad. <at> <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying much about it, so people can make up their decisions. Don't worry, it. it's okay. Well, don't you have any Here, let me, uh, uh, let me let me shine a bit with a good one. What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys love that? Oh, look what I found. What did you find? What did you find, James? <laughs> look what I found. Scroll to... Oh. Ships and submarines. Mm -hmm. Check out the third one for oh. the bottom of that. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Of course, Titanic no. is one oh, of those Jesus. major. Which, which one is it? Wait. Titanic is um, the, one of the major ship-related disasters. You know, it's the, it's the most iconic one in history. And, you know, the ship sank, and there's many interpretations telling the story of the Titanic, and that includes the legend of Titanic of the Titanic. Yep. For those of you who don't know, this is um, there are two different versions of the animated Titanic. There's the wrapping dog version, and and then there's the one where they made everything up, including a giant octopus. This is the octopus one. Yes. With the octopus with the dog face that chucked the that chucked the iceberg at the at the ship. Yeah. And then nobody actually died. They just pulled the ship back together again. No, no. There's also the part is like, uh, like you know, like when a ship is sinking, it's always women and children first. In this movie, there's room for everybody! Hey, did you guys know there's a sequel to it? Yes. Yes, Tentacolino. I, th I think it's, like, even more, like, it's... <laughs> it's purposefully going a lot more over the top with that one. Like, they're, like they want to go to Atlantis. It's, like, it's all about Atlantis, I believe. From what I gather, I think. Yeah, I never. I just. I just sort of says oh, there's a sequel called In Search of Titanic. Um. In Search of the Titanic. That's yeah. It just Titanic. says. Uh, well, it's Italian-made film, so. Uh, yeah. There. It, all it's. Is it Italian? Oh yeah. That's Italian-made. Yeah, it's like Italian made oh, okay. with the uh, English dubbing. I think um, I think the other other animated Titanic is also Italian. I think. Yes, they are. Uh, I thought this one was. I don't know. If, for some reason, I thought this was. I thought this one was made in the uh, Czech Republic. Hmm. But then again, that's just me. That's just you. What the? Fr 
Uh, what the heck? Mm. I just found another weird one. Mm. Check on trains. The first one on trains. Scrolling down. Uh, <laughs> I noticed that before. <laughs> Anastasia. <laughs> Suddenly, we're talking about random disaster movies. Oh, look. Here's Don Bluth's Anastasia. <laughs> yes, because like, it has okay, a scene with a, a train crash in it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's that one scene with the train crash, but that's it. Yeah. You know, like the rest is it's a, it's a it's like a Disney-esque musical. Here's the uh, Yeah, they I'm surprised they don't have a, a disaster trope for uh, burning buildings here because it would fit right in there just as well. Um that would probably be in like maybe in a natural disaster section where it says fire. Fire. Okay, let's see how many times Anastasia pops up on this list. And uh, stay. Only under trains. <laughs> Only under trains. Actually, I did found another weird one. If you look on top, there's actually a subcategory of natural disasters in the category of theme parks. Is yes. that new Disney and band movie on there? No, it's no. Oh, gee, no. No, it's it's like oh, Escape from Tomorrowland. Escape from Tomorrow. Yeah, you know, funny enough, I'm starting to hear like every time I'm hearing it, a lot of people are just hating it and hating it and hating it. So like, under theme park, it's like, not because of the like. Go yeah. on. Yeah, you go on. You talk about what you think about Escape from Tomorrow. <laughs> what you're hearing from. Well, the thing is. That I'm starting to see a lot. Like there were, I remember back then, back in the summer or something, not too long ago, when everybody was like, "Oh my god!" Like they were shocked over the fact that there's a movie out that it was made at Di at the Disney parks without Disney's consent. That was the big um, that was that was like the big advertisement for them. But then, like finally, people saw it and they realized it's just like it's a, it's a dumb feature. Where um, it, it looks cheap, it it looks cheaply made, and also the fact is like it's it's the equivalent of an internet troll saying that Disney is gay, you know? <laughs> God, that's bad. Like it's just one big anti-Disney movie without explaining why why they're evil. They just are. Hmm. I saw the trailer. I just. Oh. All I remember about it is just not getting it, and uh, whatever. Yep, whatever. Yeah. You'll you'll see people reviewing. Mm. So. As as Matt was saying about the theme park related disasters, which includes a roller coaster from '77 and you know the third installment of Final Destination. I mean, it's you know it has to do with the roller coaster going out of control. I don't know about Final Destination three, but in roller coaster. From '77, it has to do with the suspenseful uh, experience of being on a roller coaster and it's out of control. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it actually premiered the same summer as a uh, Star Wars. Just a random fact, but I just I've I've like like really a roller coaster like what what what. I just don't get that. I mean, huh. well, did the whole uh, what does the whole movie of roller coaster revolve around a roller coaster? Because that must be a really, really long ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It involves a roller coaster being on a roller coaster. Unless they got stuck. <laughs> we got mm. stuck. We're just sitting there, like, I don't know how those roller coasters gonna be it's fixed. <laughs> Roller coaster. Yeah, yes. Fixing the roller coaster, please. Uh, uh. They're like, oh, everybody. He here's how here's how a roller coaster disaster movie uh, uh, happens in the same way that speed happens. The roller only you got the people stuck on the roller coaster for the entire film, and the way that they're stuck is they're all at the very they're all upside down, 50 feet near. That's where they're. 
<laughs> that's where <laughs> the roller coaster has frozen up. Oh, this is going straight to my brain. The only thing... You know, the only thing that I'm thinking is just that juicy fruit commercial where everybody's stuck on that roller coaster. You know, it's like... I don't know if you guys saw it. No. But it's like... They're in a... Okay. The thing... The thing is, is that they're they're going up in a roller coaster. Suddenly, they just got stuck, and then they start singing the song, like you know, get your sneeze sad up, yeah, just take a juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move, yeah. <laughs> oh, then, I love that at, like, jingle. At the end of the song, the roller coaster works again. So that's all I'm thinking of is that they're gonna play that. <laughs> they're just gonna play that song. Oh man. Um. Any other? What else do we have? What else do you want to talk about? I'm looking over, looking over, just um, to see what I can talk about. It, it, it's funny under Some the. Some of these have also. Huh? Huh? What? What? Go on. Well, some of these uh, have actually. Uh, uh, have actually blended over into the previous uh, topics that we've discussed. On the show, uh, we've come across mockbusters before. Uh, there are plenty of mockbusters on this list. Uh, Asylum made mockbusters even. Uh, we've we've come across. Uh, we've done. We've dealt with uh, monster movies or horror movies. Or what's what's considered uh, what's considered in that category, and we've got uh, and we've got uh, movies. Uh, So uh, this is the part where I'm going to suggest that um, uh, you know uh, uh, we have we have basically covered uh, a lot or a broad stroke of, uh, of the film industry at this point in terms of genres. Uh, Anaconda. Uh, didn't we talk about Anaconda before? No, I don't. I, I don't think. I don't think we have because. I think what we talked about was um, you're right about the monsters, but I think we were talking. We were, it was the uh, Asylum Mockbusters. We we're talking about all their films, which included Mega Shark. Yeah, I think we just mentioned it. Yeah, I don't think that we actually talked about the other mo- uh, animal, like attack movies, like all the monster, like those kind of films, like Anaconda Jaws or anything like that. I don't think we talked about like Placid or all that. That's that's like under the giant monster or just whatever. Yeah, we didn't really cover that per se, but we covered the asylums um, in the Mockbusters. Well, we covered Jaws as a, a 4th of July holiday yes, film. Yes, yes, yeah. We did cover that as the holiday horror, yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we did talk about Jaws, that's right. But, yeah, a lot of this stuff kind of overtwines with each other when it comes to these genres because you know they're multi-genre films and sometimes they stick in here just a little sneaky mm-hmm. but as you uh, were mentioning that I just in that area I was just noticing a, f- um, a film known as The Mist yeah. oh jeez Yes, yes, yes. I remembered the mist. I'm just like, oh, it's like, um, yeah. So that's, it's 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 a monster movie, apparently. It says here, although mm-hmm. a monster movie, the central theme explores what ordinary people be driven to do under extraordinary circumstances. The plot involves around a member of a small town, of Brigitted. Bridge, Bridgeton, Maine, and after a severe thunderstorm causes the power to go out the night before and meet in a supermarket to pick up supplies while they struggle to survive an unnatural mist which envelops the town and conceals vicious, unworldly monsters. Extreme tension rises among the survivors. I mean... You also see this sort of thing in uh, Half-Life? Probably. 
It's the spinoff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want your Half-Life 3? There it was. It just <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so... It's like Half-Life combined with Silent Hill. <laughs> This, this episode is just a disaster. <laughs> um, I've I've looked through this shit list about a couple of times, and I only got like I wanted to mention two more. So if you guys want to mention the movies you want to mention really quick before we end this podcast, I got um, nothing else right now. Matt, you got anything? No, I think I'm good. You good? Okay, okay, good, good. I can I can wrap this Actually, up. Actually, I just found one that. <laughs> hold on, I, I um, I'll just mention one more because I just found like this really interesting title. It's just the title alone that really, just, really caught my eye. It's in flood. It's like it's a part of the floods category, and it's called the flood. Who will save our ch- children? Oh. <laughs> The flood. Who will see? Oh, that's the third title here. Yeah, redirects to IMDb. Oh, bro, oh my god! Redu- so apparently, <laughs> it directs to IMDb. Okay, because the title like. Okay, so apparently, yeah, there's too much reading. <laughs> uh, all I got was like, there's a church involved. <laughs> yeah, there, there's. Uh, Okay, There's sure. no small synopsis, unfortunately. There's There's no small like there's no small plot summary. They, like they just gave us a book. It's like they gave us all this. Full of those you okay about the full summary? Um Yeah, yeah. Don't don't well, yeah. Don't. But yeah, it's just yeah. <laughs> Something random. Um, the flood. It will save our children. Um, oddly enough, the last two I want to talk about are under the category of the aliens, monsters, and dinosaurs, which, you know, involves, you know, something invasion involves and blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, actually, no. One's under aliens and monsters, and the other one's under, un- under uh, cars, trucks, and automobiles. <laughs> planes, trucks, and automobiles. Great. Does planes, trains, and automobiles count as a as no, a no. disaster? Film? No. Okay. <laughs> I know. I just caught what I said. Um. Hold on. Wait. Let me go. Under um. <laughs> Traveling with John Candy is hazardous to your health. <laughs> under, under the category of. Cars, trucks, and buses. That's what I was looking for. Buses. Cars, trucks, and buses. There is a, another Stephen King film besides The Mist, uh, also known as Maximum Overdrive. Which definitely qualifies oh as a disaster God, film. Yes. It's a mm-hmm. action, disaster, horror, science fiction film. Albeit a campy one. Yeah. Oh man! I mean, of course, the soundtrack's amazing because it's by uh, ACDC, motherfucking ACDC. But it's just pretty much, you know, the disastrous of these vehicles uh, coming to life and killing people. <laughs> it's just. Mhm. <laughs> Larry and Sue's. I mean, it's freaking amazing. It's just. Well. And from, they actually have. Uh... I guess. Uh, I guess, like I said, disaster films by definition have to have a people uh, or a population uh, in peril, no matter how. Uh, mm-hmm. No matter if it's just a group, or in this case, uh, the entire planet was in peril, but it was the film itself was focusing on a group. So yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, and this film was directed by Stephen King himself. Hold on a sec. Uh, what? Uh, all right. Yes, mother. <laughs> I heard it. I want to wrap it up. Okay. I want to wrap it up. All right, yeah. I'm going to wrap it up. I know. I mean, 
<clears throat> so Maxim Overdrive is one of those damn so bad it's good disaster film. I mean, it's got everything you need when it comes to these cars coming alive and killing people. I mean, one of the best by Stephen King, actually. And as we all know, for alien invasion stuff, there's got to be one we have to lastly mention. Uh, they live. They live. Featuring Roddy Piper. did Piper. mention that. Mm-hmm. Freaking Roddy Piper would be like, I'm here to chew, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all a lot of gum. I mean, yeah, these aliens are in disguise as humans. And they, if you, Roddy Piper finds these glasses and you put them on and they, there's like solidal messages, you know, all over. And the aliens are trying to convince humans, you know, with the sublibital messages in, ma in mass media. And it's just one of, I mean, Roddy Piper's a badass in this. <laughs> <clears throat> it's one of the best alien invasion movies out there. So. Yeah, it's something like that. Something like that, in my opinion. It certainly has its enjoyable camp value. I love the camping. I. Camping? <laughs> I gotta end this now. I'm fucking killing myself here. Camping. I love camping. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. I, I love camping films. So, disaster films, you know. This list by Wikipedia is like freaking a disaster itself because they list movies that don't even belong in this list. But, you know, you get the gist of what these films are, you know. And, you know, Hollywood keeps making them over and over. And, you know, it's not original per se. Just getting sick of them. I'm getting sick of watching them. I mean, there's no point of... I mean, unless it's a really good movie. So with that... um. This has been. Let me get my. Let's get the next episode up and going for the topic. Mm hmm. Um, let's. Okay. All right. Let's, let's try that. A little bit of variety. So the next ep. Okay. Next episode is either Mad Max or time travel films. Fucking time travel films. <laughs> Matt's gotta go. That's fine. I'm just gonna wrap it. Next episode is all about time travel and films that involve time travel. Okay. Uh, with that... This has been Cinema Royale. We are. It don't make sense. The end. Uh. Goodbye. <laughs>